I'm Nigel Newlov in Ottawa. Politicians are back at work, and one of their first orders of business is a lightning rod for controversy. The Commons Heritage Committee is starting a study into racism and religious discrimination, which started from a motion to end Islamophobia that was passed earlier this spring. The rhetoric around the issue led to protests outside some mosques in Toronto. In nearby Peel region, a debate over allowing prayers in schools led to a protester ripping a Koran in the school board meeting. The study was spurred by a motion put forward by Liberal MP Ikra Khalid focused on combating Islamophobia. Khalid endured hundreds of racist comments and death threats after introducing it. Initially, some Conservative MPs opposed the motion but now have no choice but to examine the issue in committee. Today, Khalid was the committee's first witness. This motion, this study, is an opportunity for parliamentarians to come together to be unified in seeing how we can tackle this issue of systemic racism and religious discrimination. There's lots to be learned from the statistics, from the media reports, from people's personal experiences, including mine. And we must use those in our unified approach to combating systemic racism and religious discrimination. Some Conservatives believe the motion could lead to restrictions on free speech, something the Liberals deny. The research could lead to recommendations which could then be used in new laws. In Ottawa, Nigel Newlove, City News.